Welcome back to Bedrock. It's day 35 and we're about to put our preparations to the ultimate test. This will be a horde in which we will see demolition zombies and our base leaves much to be desired, particularly in the steel department. So the plan today is to wrap up as much construction as possible with the materials that we have, then we'll face down the horde. After that, we'll have to focus all of our energy on increasing our workstation skill in an effort to unlock the crucible. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze, so let's begin. All right, tonight is the night, and I definitely need to get some resources rolling over here so that we have some extra blocks to work with. Maybe not for today, but like for the rest of the week. So we'll get started on that right now. I'd say probably 500 shapes will do us in well enough for the rest of the playthrough. Unless, I guess, unless we get to the point where we want to do the big ramp going up to the uh, surface from down here. It's quite a project. I don't see why not. It's just a matter of like... How much time do we have left here to, to stay busy and occupied before we kind of call it and move on to the next series? In terms of construction for today, let's just, uh, oh, got them right here. Let's just make sure that the fighting position, oh, and then we also have to do some sort of a shielding for the dart trap, and then I'm going to solidify those security gates. I do like the look of those, and, um, oh, geez, am I freaking climbing on this ladder? I'm totally stuck on it. I thought that you couldn't do that if um, these were kind of flipped on their side like that is that has that always been a thing and i'm just now noticing it okay what if i put like one of the regular ladders on their side like this that one doesn't do it or no it does do it on this side yes oh okay so you can climb on ladders even if they're in like the sideways orientation well i don't like that one bit instead i'm gonna go with old faithful here the baluster rail i trust this block a lot more and i like the appearance of it as well Okay, yep, that's done up right there. And I think this side, we never actually made the switch. So we'll just it's just a matter of getting that side upgraded. All right, and as for this here, yeah, good thing that that's not locked because I'd be getting shot in the face right now. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna uh, do something very simple here, probably. We'll do the uh, duck bill <laughs> orientation here. Half block right there. And then wedge 60 tips all around the border here to just make it flush up with the wall a little bit better. And I think, yes, yeah, 60 slope tip corner, whatever this is. All right, all done. Okay, how many blocks do I have left? 43. Well, I wanted, I've, I've been wanting to do some more work down here. I think what we'll do for the next horde is we'll start to dig into this side here because you can kind of see where this, like if we got on top of the ceiling here and kind of made a room that went all the way back to where that area is over there, we could put a ladder going up there and then we could put all of our electric fences in a room that kind of like circumferentially encompasses the shaft here. Geez, suddenly this turned into a PG-13 episode, talking about things that circumferentially encompass a shaft. No, okay, so, um, yes, let's just get this upgraded before we go topside, because I've got the solar stuff, I want to go hook that up today at some point, and, um, see if we can get that fully functional now and into the future. This is our backup position here, so I'll make sure that this is solidified. Plenty of resources, if anything, just like a little hard up for some cobblestone right now, but that would require like clay digging and the whole nine yards, really. And everything here should be, whoa, almost all good. Yep, that's pretty good right there. And with the new auto shotgun, I am not worried one bit about what's gonna happen tonight. I'm pretty sure that we can hold down this horde, no problem. No problem. Famous last words, perhaps, but uh, I don't know. It's okay being confident once in a while. Oh yes, the, the the railing. Oh, the pipe that goes around. Yes. Oh my God. There's a whole bunch of work to do down here. My bad. I thought we were ready to go topside, but not quite yet. Yeah. There's always so much work to do, man. Ah, jeez. Well, I always this is this is my theme right here. I always bite off more than I can chew with my <laughs> base builds. I'm like, all right, this time we're gonna do a nice, tight, little, easy base build, and it's gonna be no problem and then it turns into something that's just like this sprawling campus of a base i don't know i kind of like hiding these pipes back here i wish if you know if i had unlimited time if this was like a multiplayer playthrough and i could just sit here for a couple of days and remodel and not kind of like lose a whole bunch of time that would otherwise be spent doing something entertaining like tier six infestations what i would probably do is put a an industrial light or two in behind so that it kind of like shone through. I mean, the series, they can't go on forever. The series, in terms of like performance and stuff, we talk a lot more about this on the channel updates for the members and such, but um, a series really, it, it begins to start performing poorly at about the halfway point because I guess people fall off uh, from watching it eventually. And so as interest wanes, the, the pressure starts building to kind of, you know, 
start over again, do something new, and, and then all, a lot of viewers will come back and they'll tune back in again. So, you know, it's not all about YouTube metrics and stuff, but it's a little bit about YouTube metrics and stuff because this is my job after all. So I have to do what's best for the channel at times, but I also have to do, you know, what's best for, you know, myself and, and for you guys, the viewers. It's a bit of a balancing act, you could say. Okay, so for lighting, I think what I was uh, envisioning doing is... I want to do lighting off of these pipes, just like we did on the back over there where that industrial light is. But I don't think we need too much light in here. And I'm going to use lanterns because these industrial lights here, they just don't put off a lot of light. Look how dark this is. So up here I'll have, because we want really good lighting out here. So up here I'll have a industrial light probably. Here, let's just see if I can reach and copy that. Yep. Let's plan on how about, well, we have to make it symmetrical. One, two, three have a light there because I think we're good on light from this direction so maybe if I just put two lanterns here that will be enough that's the hope anyway and if not I can put some more on the sides here so what was that one two three right there did I bring the lanterns I did and let's just see what this looks like before we completely commit to it even though it's it's we're pretty much committed now okay what's that look like there turn my light off and not bad a little bit dark down here i wonder what i could do to fix that hmm what would what would we do we'd have to like dig a hole into the wall and probably put some spotlights in the wall all right i made up a couple of spotlights and i can test this out now just gonna put it right there and if anything i'll just cover it up same way that i did with that stuff over there and let's see if i can pull this off of that spotlight maybe oh please work no, nope, not gonna work. No, oh, I got it. Oh, that was a screamer, I think, upstairs. And I think she screamed. I'm gonna head up and just check it out. Oh, she's screaming now. Oh, yeah, that's a radiated screamer. That's interesting. Oh, <laughs> deleted. Yes, we've got a deletion gun now. What'd you leave for me? Not much. Ah, I was gonna say, like, where was the original screamer? Because there's no way that was just a radiated screamer. Regular screamers can spawn in radiated screamers, but they don't just spawn on their own. Yeah, not sure if we're gonna have time for the solar stuff. I'm much more, whoa, uh-oh. I'm much more worried about um, getting this stuff kind of situated. Okay, so the next spotlight is gonna go right there, and I'll just hook this one off of this side because it was such a chore to get that one hooked up. Is that gonna help down here with lighting? Jeez, now I feel like I should have like two more and we should put them in the wall over here. You know, I, I can work through the baluster rail if I need to, so let's just do this for now. Um, I'm not 100% committed on all this yet, but uh, yeah, it'll work for now. Right, and that does give me the time to come topside and see if I can figure out something for a like solar array up here. Yeah, some sort of a permanent structure to house the solar system and yeah, the whole solar system, right? No, the... Um, the SMG turrets and stuff. Singular, because I don't have the crucible yet. I can't make steel and I can't make more turrets until I get the crucible and I can make steel. Right, so how about we make a bit of a canopy here? Is okay, so this what I have so far? And hopefully that doesn't look too terribly bad. We can kind of dress it up with some trim a little bit later on. Okay, solar bank is down and I'm just realizing that um, I didn't make a battery bank. So, <laughs> crap. Uh, let's see if I can do that then real fast. Jeez, up and down, up and down. I have got to just sit down someday after this horde and figure out an easy way to get up and down, like a simple ladder system. All right, there it is. And don't forget a couple of batteries to take with me. Uh, we'll take the best ones. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, right here. And I was kind of frustrated that this wasn't centered before, but it does give me some room to just put this down right there. Stack this up with batteries and then... For now, I guess it'll just be the one SMG turret. I wanna do like quite a few turrets up here for now because um, I'm just gonna aim them straight up so that we don't waste a whole bunch of ammo, but I wanna defend against the birds. Fix, thank you. And SMG turret. Ah, who was that? Where are you? Get out of here. Okay, well, we got a couple of rads probably to fight off. Come here, Sintal. Oh, nice. I can just two-shot rads now. Love it. Where's the rest of them? One, two, and light foo-foo. Number three. And the hope being that this is just going to target the birds. Like, the birds will swoop down, and then they'll go back up in the... You know what? Probably this... 
Oh, geez. Now I'm thinking they should go in the corners, right? Yeah, because the birds don't usually hang out over in this area over here. Uh, okay, for now, I'll work on this later. I'm just going to orient these a little bit in this direction. There we go. All right, well, hope for the best. That's enough for that project. Oh, geez. Ow. Wow. <laughs> Crap. Not sure if I can make it back in. Oh, I can do it. Oh, right. These are going to have to come off too because I'm, I'm, I'm now, I hate that shape. <laughs> I, I only like that shape for specifically for ladders. Okay. Can I fix this in time for the horde? Probably not, but it's fine. I'll be stationary for the whole horde fight anyway. Oh, we can do a health bar. That'll help a little bit. Yeah, that should bring it down to like, what, 10 minutes? 15 minutes? 17 minutes. Okay, well, almost. All right, let's do one more pass upstairs with the concrete, and I'll use a maybe a learning elixir to get a little bit more XP out of it. Okay, I've just accidentally run out of concrete mix, and I've almost finished too, but I think it's time to probably get down and make sure that everything is situated down below because the horde is almost here. Man, these things are so weird. Look, like you can't walk uh, so, like parallel to the fence here. Hmm. Yeah, some kind of like invisible wall coming off the side of them. All right, well, that'll do good enough for tonight. I fixed a lot of pieces that I think were getting damaged by birds last time. I remember we had a whole friggin' flock of them, so... Oh, we gotta pull the ladder, too. Oh, right, I actually didn't do any repairs down here as well. So, okay, we'll just get some mix and we'll do that real fast, and I think we'll be all set. I'll do the pipe probably tomorrow or the next day. And um, this will do just fine for tonight, I think. Rome wasn't built in a day. Not that I'm too worried about this. We have the whole other lane over there, which is basically untouched. And if anything happened over here, we could switch over. No problem now. The weak link is probably the fence, if not the, those two blocks there that the, uh, the drawbridge, the uh, vault doors are connected to. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have to do some uh, something down here. I'm thinking maybe like, oh, geez something to do with the pipes but I don't want to overdo the pipes I already feel like I'm getting toward the overdoing the pipes kind of thing <laughs> now we'll figure something out to kind of fix that harsh angle there though okay we don't have to worry about falling into the base anymore because I won't be in any sort of a position to fall into the base I will mm, I'll leave that down <laughs> just in case something stupid happens right all right final preparations and then we'll get ready to face the horde all right everyone the day 35 horde the demo horde is fast approaching so it is time to lock and load My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. All right, I feel as though the, the Horde is now here in full force, so let's lock ammo on this. Start shooting darts at him here and there. Probably it'll be just running all night. I think it'll be fine. Oh, there's a demo right there. Got one already. Oh boy. Okay, he's uh, he's falling back down. There's uh, several of them. Oh my god. There's a lot of zombies here now. Start getting the explosives. I don't really have very many pipe bombs, so. Oh jeez. Oh, this is going really bad already. Oh boy, that was like right below me. Okay, maybe mo no more melee as well. Let's just take a second to get the power-ups into me. Learn an elixir. Recog. And I'll say that that'll probably do it for now. All right. Let it rip. There, oh, no, not another demo blast. Crap. Oh, that's not what we need. Stupid shotgun. Well, that's one of the benefits of being in a bedrock base is you don't have to worry about that blasting a big hole in the ground. It's just a matter of blasting a big hole in the wall. All right, try to vary up the weapons a little bit. I don't have unlimited shotgun bullets. Like I, you know, it, it usually, it felt like usually uh, shotgun bullets were in abundance. Or shotgun shells, sorry. Lest someone correct me in the comments. Any more than I already have to deal with. Um, yeah, and so um, we have to be a little bit cautious on what ammo we're using. We have plenty, and I mean plenty of 762 though. No shortage of freaking cops here today. My goodness, it's like every fourth zombie is a barrel cop. Look at the, the wall behind me is taking a beating from all the uh, cops shooting through here. Oh, ow. I guess that's um, one of the drawbacks of using these baluster rails is that cops can now shoot at me from down there. I feel like, um, rumor has it at least, that, um, what was it, these, um, scaffolding ladders block the cops but I never actually did get around to testing that out though you know someday I will I guess 
For now though, just be careful and make sure that we're topped off on first aid. And I, you know, just hide over here occasionally. Although don't hide too close to the dart trap because I don't want someone shooting at me and then accidentally blowing that up. It's got a lot of darts in it right now. All right, we got a demo here and he's down. That's fine. Let him cycle around a few times. Three skill points to spend. So I might take a minute and spend those because I really wanted to do one into intellect and then one more into advanced engineering. That'll give us a little bit more XP for trap kills tonight if we happen to get any at all. Whoops, need a repair kit. Not even sure if I have any back here. Let's just, uh, yep, I've got one. Well, uh, hopefully that'll do it. <laughs> Over to the nine mil then. That's not going to do anything, is it? Yeah, okay, back to the shotgun. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This thing's just devastatingly effective. Love it. Okay, they are all being weird over there. They're having a hard time kind of turning the corner. They're really falling off a lot more than I... I feel like they did the last time, a lot more than I would expect anyway. See, some of them just, they, they don't turn the corner, they just go flying off the side. Of course, now no one wants to do that. There's a couple that went off right there. And I'm starting to um, do some damage to the back blast area there, which is fine. No, oh, excuse me, not, re not really the back blast. This is the back blast area. That's like the back drop area. Okay, you guys are being weird over there. Stop that, please. Ow. All right, back to the 762 a little bit. I can kind of target the zombies that are stuck over there a little bit better this way anyway. And I think we have no demos here, so I can lay into them a little bit with this. Ooh, that's a big chunk of the wall missing right there. That's nice. As much as I like using melee on Horde Knight, I just don't think that they stack up here at the front enough to really... Well, it's working really well right now, but, you know, typically I my... My original vision here was to um, to have huge clusters of zombies, but they just fall off too easily. I bet in Alpha 20, this base would have been a treat. I'm still trying to learn how zombies behave in Alpha 21, because it's certainly different in many ways. A whole new relearning process that I've got to go through. Not that I mind, particularly. See, look, there's random zombies banging on stuff over there. Whoop, got another demo here. Just try to... There we go, get the headshots on him. And no, 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 none of that, please. I had enough of those tonight. All right, let's see what we can do for like an air burst over there. Anything good? Nope, got a couple. Well, the good thing is I have no suspicion currently that they're digging. I, I feel like we've had nice steady volume down here. The whole horde is down here, I'm pretty sure. There might be diggers, but they are preferring to come down the intended pathway, down the chute. We'll call it the chute, not the shaft. It seems just better that way. You don't even need this, some Molotovs. That would help, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm out of 762. <laughs> yeah, we have plenty of it back in the boxes, though. But for now, I think I'll just stay here and shoot zombies. Okay, on second thought, whoop, yep, take your head off, and then that's a good opportunity probably to run over here and grab a couple more stacks of 762, reload, and let it rip. Go, oh, of course, I throw two friggin' pipe bombs and blow up two friggin' demos. No, oh, bad, 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 very bad. That, we've lost the whole tower. How the hell did that whole thing come down? Oh my god, that's not good. Demos are, are ruined the base. I don't know if they're, they're gonna come down here now. They seem to, some of them, be jumping down. Oh boy, oh boy, this is really, really bad news. I don't think they want to jump down here anymore. I think we're just gonna have diggers. Great! What did I say about not leaving the base? I don't think we have much of a choice right now, though. Oh, we've gotta, we've gotta... I don't know what we have to do. We have to come up with some sort of a solution very quickly before they start digging. Uh, blocks. Give me the blocks. Yes, I'm like 100% sure that they're going to be digging now. Okay, give me cubes. We've got to build something for them to get over to us on. Ah, okay. Over here and... Oh, oh, oh. Darts in the face. Darts in the face. Oh, cops. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, they are seemingly still jumping down. This is just not going to work, is it? A uh, ladder, a ladder, a ladder. That's scaffolding ladder to the rescue here. Okay, 
get them a ladder. Big mama, get your face out of the way. Okay, more bombs and just sidestep a little bit. There we go, get out of the way. Oh, and um, there we go. And one more, come on, man, come on. I'm so close, okay, I can't, I can jump down there because I can jump on the ladder to get back out. There we go, okay, ow. Um, yep, let's just soften them up a little bit down there. And uh, yes, we just have to get them up to the ladder now. It seems like they kind of want to do it themselves, kind of. Okay, that's gonna have to do it for now. Also, I do hear birds topside. Here, I can just crawl right up over this, and that might have done it temporarily at least. Holy crap. Oh my god, look at the damage to the side. Yep, cobblestone was just not gonna work, was it? Okay, can they get up onto that? No. They could a second ago, but I think there was more rubble over there at the time. All right, I'm just gonna just do it. Um, just jump down here and get them some blocks to jump up on. To, oh boy, this is just not where I want to be right now. Ow! Ah, I got an abrasion! Quickly, get some first aid kits onto me! Okay, they are... they are... ow! Oh no! No, 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 no! Okay, run in circles, bleeding, bleeding still. Um, out of stamina! No, this is gonna be it! Not like this! <laughs> Okay, that sucked, and I've lost all 100% of my gear, every bit of it. It, um, uh, it seems all quiet. Let's just make sure that I have something of a firearm over here. That's specifically why I've been saving all of these things over here, and I even took my tools out of the inventory so that uh, I will still have some good stuff. We'll have to make a whole new set of armor, uh, or just pick apart whatever I can out of this. Ooh, level four steel legs. Where did those come from? Uh, an iron chest. Okay, actually, we're not too bad off right now. <laughs> I guess we're gonna roll with lucky goggles and there's a level five sledge and... Okay, yeah, we'll be right as rain in um, in no time, I think. Yeah, I don't think there's any more zombies spawning. I think the Horde Knight is over. A, a f complete friggin' failure. That's, okay, that's because I... I don't have any steel, man. Durr, that sucks, man. I can't get the crucible on day 35, and I'm really not even close. Yeah, I'm still like 21 magazines away from the crucible, and it's not like I didn't try. I mean, I'm pretty sure that one of my first skill points was in advanced engineering, and I took a second point really quickly. Is there a zombie? No, just my imagination. Probably just a thunder or something. Yeah, um... I'm really frustrated with uh, the whole crucible situation. All right, well, no sense in crying over spilt milk. Let's just get the inventory squared away, get a set of armor on, and sort of try to recover as best we can from our losses here. All right, well, I'm working on new armor, pocket mods, and the like. So I think for now, I want to jump down here and see what we got for loot, because it might be something important for the rebuild. Okay, overall, not much. I did pull out a quality six chest piece, though, which I think just immediately went onto my chest. There it is. Yep, yep, my bad there. I was trying to um, get this system in place so that the zombies could jump back up to us, because had I been able to put a ladder in here, even just a single ladder, and had the zombies kind of like roll up and come across as they were intended to, and then maybe had to do some repairs over here, I think we would have been able to kind of squeak it out at the end. Yep, we'll need three new clothing pocket mods. Can I make the college jacket? Oh no, I don't even, I don't know if that's even craftable. Wait, isn't it called the letter jacket? Oh no, no, I don't have a college jacket anymore, crap. Uh, I guess I could wear a puffer coat or a freaking poncho or something. Yeah, let's go poncho. Treasure map to read. So we have Jennifer's treasure map. Stefan's is probably you know, I can't see that today. Someday, hopefully, it'll appear to me. Yeah, but just nearby. Still have no idea what that's all about. All right, so this is how we look so far. We're making some progress. <laughs> I feel like we should probably go hit up a savage country or something. What we can hit up is the traders. That's probably something that's worth doing right now is a trader run. Yeah, also lost my TAC AR. I lost my drum mag that was on the auto shotgun. I should have um, the old mods, more or less, that were on the, the old shotgun. So for now, just 
pop those on. At least we can freaking fight and do something. I did lose all the shotgun ammo though, so we're down to 94 bullets. I'll bring the crossbow with me for now. Okay, certainly I can do up a couple of melee mods for the old sledgehammer here. Oh, up to four in fact, so how about Iron Breaker of all things? I don't really have very many armor mods though, unfortunately, so I've lost basically all of those. I lost my water filter mod, no! Okay, got my boots, impact bracing mods, that's good. Oh, the dukes in the pocket, yeah, I lost 20,000 dukes that were in my pocket on that one. Great. Uh, pipe bombs, can I get a few of those? Okay, it does appear as though I can get some uh, BDU stuff, which will at least give you something to put all these double clothing pocket mods onto. I can only make the single armor pocket mod, so... Yeah, I don't even know if it's worth the resources on that one. I'd run out of leather for sure. I've only got 22 left. Pipe bombs rolling in here. Okay, time for a trader run. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna check the vending machine to see if there's anything I put in there that could I could take back out and help me rebuild. Shotgun choke mod is an option. I'll take that back. Otherwise, that stuff can just stay there. Well, actually, you know what? I think I'm ready to give up on this. <laughs> Let's just sell all of this off to Jen. I know that it works, it's just a matter- I think you just have to put like a hundred stacks of stone in there or something like that and it would start selling. I don't know, but whatever. I'll leave the stone in there. If it, if it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. All right, let's hope that she has a sugar butts in here. She does not. Does she have an awesome sauce? She does. I'll take that then. Whoops, forgot just to have the magnum out. You know what's interesting is that um, the magnum, it doesn't have to be a magnum, it, it could also be a desert vulture, and I just learned recently it could also be a pipe pistol. All of those things will uh, give you the same 5% bonus if you've read that book. Alright, last round of items to sell here, and that puts us up to 52,000. I was kind of expecting more than that, I think, but uh, whatever, yeah, save the magnum though. And okay, please Jen, do you have anything that can help me out today? Steel. Yeah, I feel like... We're just gonna have to start buying all of the steel. There's a shotgun duckbill mod, and that's literally it. That's all she has. Okay, we're gonna head to, to, oh geez, yep. Awesome sauce is running out. We're gonna head to a different trader. Let's go into the wasteland. We'll do a wasteland raid. We'll check on Bob and kind of take it from there. All right, got an airdrop along the way. This is marked. I don't know quite when this occurred, but anyway, let's do what we get here. Time charges, crafting skill magazine bundle four, tactical warfare, wiring, and home cooking. Hopefully Bob has something better. I should have my opening trade routes over here. Whoop, <laughs> Big Mama's still dead from last time. Also, I was thinking while we're out here today in the wasteland, we should try to kill a couple bears to restock on leather. And what do you have today? Oh, finally an eye candy. Jeez, this vending machine is loaded. Oh, yeah, and I've just conveniently left the freaking doors wide open here. Whoa, another couple of birds. Holy crap, man. Get out of here. Bob, tell me you got something good for me, please. An SMG auto turret, which is pretty cool. That would save us a whole ton of steel. And at that price point, it's going to be definitely worth it to go and get a awesome sauce. What else, though? Ammo. But that is pretty much it for him. Oh, geez. So in that case, uh, let's go ahead and do it. Oh, he doesn't have awesome sauce. Well, geez, on second thought, let's not do it today. Some other time then. Okay, we need a repair kit for the armor. We also need a repair kit for the motorcycle. <laughs> Careful not to crash into anything. The motorcycle might just friggin' simply explode. Well, that'll get us started on the leather here. And is there anything in town here that looks interesting to raid? Oh, let's do the bowling alley. That'll be perfect. Yeah, here it is. Balls strike bowling. Very careful on the bike, though, because it's down to like 16%. All right, let's get in here. Ah, working vending machine back there. And that... Is that the... Oh, that is the main loot over there. Tier 3. Okay. We'll get there eventually, I think. Oh, hello. Got uh, pog... Pogasm. Oh, jeez. And a loot bag here. What's my loot stage, anyway? Just want to check on that. 237 out here, not too shabby. Oh, got a cop outside. Yeah, I thought I heard someone out here. And take care of that guy while we're right here. Oh, and of course he leaves me a loot bag. Guess I can go grab that. Kind of makes me realize I I've been missing the crossbow. I like being able to get these sneak kills nice and easy. Oh, and then Jim's gun fortress over there. Oh, we're doing that next. 
Yeah, having the pump shotgun, not too bad, right? We only had the auto shotgun for literally a day. I only killed zombies with it yesterday during the horde. <laughs> and uh, other than that, you know, didn't get to use it at all. It's okay, I can craft another. It's just a matter of, you know, putting the steel into it and it'll only be like a level two or three probably. What about this? Iron Breaker mod? No thanks. Yep, gotta be a little bit careful about the looting too because I'm no longer, I no longer have like the fully unlocked backpack. Gonna have to start working on that again. Okay, so this just, you know, breathed a little bit of new life into the playthrough, I think, because now we've got to like start all over again to some degree. Just when you thought it was gonna get boring and stale. <laughs> Here we go again. Who's back there? Killer Joe. Oh, that's a restore power generator there. Careful around that barrel. Anybody back here? Uh, oh. Presumably there could be, particularly on like an infestation. Okay, I recognize this door right here. I'm just gonna break through it so I can go stash the motorcycle. There we go. Yeah, the combination of not having a college jacket and not having pocket mods probably gonna get me killed again. Whoop, speak of the devil. Oh, what is this? Have I never seen the workbench in its, like, empty configuration like that? That's new to me. Interesting. Still doesn't give you much for... Well, actually, yeah, that gave me some forged iron and mechanical parts. For some reason, I thought that that was not giving forged iron anymore. What is going on these days? I can't keep track of things. Everything is, you know, changing left and right. Get out of here. Whoop, you too. Yep, look out. I don't know why I'm killing everyone. I should just be... Going straight for the main loot. Ooh, skull crushers and hackers posters. Nothing much in there. And this is mine. Okay, I'm suddenly a little bit lost here. Okay, this is a dead end. There must be some, aha, yes, secret spot. I was gonna say, cause I looked at this um, ceiling tile there and there's, there's something up there. Uh, or maybe that's not what that was. It, it looked like it. There's a bag over there. I feel like, yeah, I'm gonna fall through here at some point probably. Oh, zombies up here, but we're heading down and out this way, it looks like. Ah, I like that. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this like the, the mechanism that replaces the bowling pins? So that's what it looks like. Interesting. Oh, there's a uh, environmental hazard down there. Oh, boy. Okay, yes, not a good time to run out of bullets. There we go. Ah, they're behind me. Okay, just trace the pipe up to there. Good. I hear zombies. I don't know where they are, though. I'm gonna just head out here. Probably the big fight is up here somewhere. Nothing I can do in terms of uh, power-ups or anything like that. Here we go. Found him. Dog. Oh, boy. Done. Should be okay. Ow. They're behind me. Ah. All right, I survived. Give me a first aid kit, please. All right, we can loot up, I think. And what do we get? Oh, that was worth it. Wow, a really, really good set of chest armor. So how does that compare? Yeah, an extra 4.5 armor off of that. Wow, okay. Well, we're making some steady progress already. I actually also put on the advanced muffled connector and yeah, we'll have to do some mod crafting this evening. All right, I think that just about does it for this place. Tell me there's a button probably. Yep, there it is to get this open and here we are. Okay, we still have some time though and we still have some inventory space, probably a lot more if I just sift through this for a second. Okay, I can hopefully now make myself a repair kit. I used glue to make duct tape. Get that duck build mod on, excellent. Repair this bike before it breaks. Jar of honey cures my infection. And just like that, the inventory is clear. Let's go over to the gun store. All right, that didn't take long. Jim and Tim's bullets and booze. <laughs> I like that. Oh, good stuff. Okay, did I see that there's some, um, yeah, there's some posters over here. Bretzels, I guess I'll take that for now. Anything could be in here and nothing is. Let's put all that on the ground. All right, let's do this. Oh, I like that, no loitering sign. I gotta see what exactly that is so I can pick it up someday. Oh, we got a dog somewhere. 
Where's that? Uh, I guess clear the perimeter a little bit. Oh, there's a shooting range back here. Okay, dog is actually in the backyard. Aha, look at this. Framed jet photo. Don't mind if I do. Oh, rad. And oh, boy, big biker here. No, please don't hit me. There we go. Yeah, there's the dog over there. See if I can just... Well, I don't want to waste the ammo. I, I'm, I'm down really, really low right now. There we go. There's another one somewhere. There he is. Get out of here. There's a rad back there now, too. A couple of other zombies. Waking them all up. And another one back there. Okay, these liquor boxes, they can have good things like recog in them. I found that before. Mostly gonna be... Oh, wow. Awesome sauce. Cool. Yeah, so yeah. Worth, worth it to check those, I would say. To the rooftop. What's in this? Just forged iron. Random crap. Crawler. Whoop. Miss. Ow! Where did you guys come from? Oh, did I just walk right by you? You were over here the whole time? Ooh, soldiers too. I finally found a broken dew collector, which is interesting. There's like a 5% chance you can get a water filter out of that. Oh, forge a head magazine too. Yeah, simply, it's not, they're so uncommon. I think there's, I've only seen two POIs that even have those in them, and this is number two. So I feel like they should increase the probability that you get a water filter out of that, or just increase the amount of those that are found in POIs. Yeah, and we already took care of business over here. Oh, safety first. All kinds of signs. I gotta look into that. All right, that's that's probably the way out right there. So we gotta go through here and into the basement eventually. What do we got? Killer Joe. Oh, the, uh, yes, the pistol blueprint. Not sure if I got that one yet. Still gotta kinda unpack that stuff. They're in a bunch of boxes. Ooh, I can take that guy, I know that. Cop, no, 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 don't spit on stuff in here. What's wrong with you? All right, I will probably at this point take the eye candy, I would say, right? Yep, yep, I think that's the thing to do here. Let's do it. It's gonna be five minutes or six minutes anyway, so plenty of time. And grab that sign too. What was that? Level six something, right? <gasps> wow, really good crossbow. Well, I guess that's gonna be a permanent fixture from now on. Maybe wanna put some points into archery. Okay, well that, that paid off to some degree. Ooh, tank photo. Take that with me. What was this? Oh, that's the, uh, a rifle blueprint. Jeez, I'm just <laughs> clogging up the whole inventory. See if I can stash the bike a little bit at least. Okay, I can see Big Mama lurking way over there. There we go. Oh, that was a headshot too. Nice. Okay, yep, that loosens things up a little bit. Beer is good for drinking. Not three of them though, and probably... Ah, oh, now we got blurry vision. Great. Well, let's make good use of it and go down here and do some brawling. What's up, guys? Get back. Cop and... Oh, a biker. Yes, you and me, buddy. What do you got? Ow. He's got too much. I can't do it. There we go. Ow. I'll go ahead and just take a painkiller after that. Okay, yeah, there's the main loot. Oh, that's... Oh, no, that's already open. That's unfortunate. Well, still pretty good loot down here. We're on the clock, too, so let's get right to it. All right, into the main chest here. Oh, junk. And that's pretty much it, I think. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with how things turned out today. Got a nice crossbow, and otherwise just got a little bit of odds and ends. I think we're all set here. Let's go. Pro oh, that's a dog horde over there. Wow, good timing. I need the leather anyway, so come on over here, boys. Whoop, and uh, accidental bleeding injury. Okay, inventory's looking good. Let's harvest. In fact, what I'll do is just uh, get the bone knife. One extra just delivered himself to me. Okay, we're good. That did not help us out very much on the leather front, up to only 30. I suppose we need to find a bear. There's a bear. Now, ride the bear. Got him. Well, nothing to do with you. Well, there's 15 more leather. We need to do graces. Unfortunately, I haven't seen a grace around here anywhere. Oh, there's also this place here, which is like... What is this, a tier three or tier four? I think it's a four. Yes, NDC checkpoint one. Gotta do that someday. That'll be our next uh, POI that we do when we come out to the wasteland again. Oh, hey, look at what I found over here. Another military installation. Kind of like Fort Razor, only bigger. Fort Choppa. That'll be one to do someday for sure. Yeah, something tells me we could do the NDC checkpoint and Fort Choppa on one day. Two tier fours together. I really wanted to do the tier five infestation at... 
the vanity tower, but I think we need a, at least a couple more days to kind of get, you know, stuff again, like pocket pods and better weapons, etc. All right, here's a treasure map. Oh, underneath an iron deposit. Oh, that sounds like fun. Yep, in that case, time to do a little bit of mining. Not much. Also, zombies. Whatever. Let's go home. All right, that's the rest of my junk right there. And I just thought while I was up here, let's just check on this unlock. Yep, just give me the ammo so that I at least have a full stack to myself. And here is a look at the loot haul for today. No notably, it was the crossbow and the tier six steel chest armor. <laughs> and like a whole row of decorations. All right, let me sort through all this. In fact, I'm gonna just sort through this. I'm gonna get this area up over here cleaned up and then I'll start probably patching up the wall and maybe rebuilding some sort of a mechanism to get the zombies up. I don't think I'm gonna go as complex as it was before because it was looking a little bit too busy anyway. So perhaps it was for the best that that got destroyed. We'll do something a little bit cleaner and simpler. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.